everyone a Merry Christmas, even though for many people this Christmas will not be very merry at all. After eight years of Justin Trudeau, people wonder how they'll put food on the table. Our children write Santa Claus letters asking not for toys or vacations, but just for snow boots and food for their families. Parents stay up late at night, worried how they will keep their homes. After rent prices are rising for the first time in Canadian recorded history faster than wages. That has never happened before. The cost of the average mortgage has more than doubled. The cost of a needed down payment for a new home doubled. Rent has doubled. The last two months have been the fastest recorded increases in rent in Canadian history. Yesterday, Justin Trudeau's own housing agency was asked if the government has a plan to close the 3.5 million home gap in our housing supply, and they answered no. This was not an opposition MP accusing the government of not having a plan. This was Justin Trudeau's own housing agency. After eight years, as though he hasn't had time to come up with a plan. So far, his only plan has been to massively inflate the cost of housing with relentless and irresponsible money printing that floods our financial systems, profits the big corporations, and doubles housing costs while he inflates the bureaucracy that block home building. He's since come up with a housing accelerator plan, $4 billion, and where's the money going? To build more local bureaucracies to block more homes. And while Canadians can't afford their rent or even dream of buying a home, now they worry they won't be able to feed their families at all. Justin Trudeau has presided over the doubling a food bank use in Toronto. Nationwide, two million visits. A record-smashing number of people lined up in one month to go to food banks. In our major cities, these lineups go block after block. If the imagery were put in black and white, you would assume it was historical reels from the Great Depression. Canadians are seeing a resurgence of things like scurvy, diseases that had been defeated. Why? Because Canadians have downgraded their diets. They pay more for smaller and smaller portions that they buy at their grocery stores. There are now 30 homeless encampments in Halifax alone. We would never would have imagined these homeless encampments, and they're increasingly filled with people who have jobs. We have nurses who live in vans and carpenters who live in parking lots. That is the Christmas that Justin Trudeau has brought us after eight years. And what is his plan now? His solution? To quadruple the carbon tax. Not just on the gas that you put in your car or the heat that warms your home, but on the farmers and the truckers who bring us our food. Yesterday, after manipulation and intimidation by Justin Trudeau, liberal senators voted to gut a common sense conservative bill that would have taken the tax off of our farmers. Just in time for Christmas, Justin Trudeau has ensured that, that your turkey dinner will have a big, fat, growing carbon tax caked on top of it. That is not part of the recipe for turkey dinner that Canadians were looking for. But yet, late yesterday, there were those Liberal senators who had received personal calls from Justin Trudeau intimidating calls from a prime minister who claimed that he would respect this, the independence of the Senate, has now stepped in to make sure not only that Canadians continue to pay the tax, but that it goes higher and higher still. Well, I've got news for Justin Trudeau. You've ruined Christmas for Canadians. Common sense conservatives are going to ruin your vacation as well. We are going to put in thousands of amendments at committee and in the House of Commons, forcing all night round the clock voting to block your twenty billion dollars of inflationary spending and the rest of your economically destructive plans until you agree to our demand to take the tax off farmers first nations and families you will know you will have no rest until the tax is gone
Mr. Schroeder, you're going to have to come to terms with something. Over the Christmas period, whether through a walk in the snow or while you're sitting next to a warm fire, think about this reality. There will be a carbon tax election. I will win the carbon tax election, and whether you like it or not, I will ax the tax. And the choice will be very clear. It will be between a, a costly coalition of the NDP and Liberals that take your money, tax your food, punish your work, double your housing cost, and unleash crime and chaos in your community, or a common-sense conservative government that frees you to earn a powerful paycheck and pension that buys affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods. That will be the choice. And we will remind people every day in every way that we are the only common sense party with a plan to bring home the Canada that we know and love. We will bring home lower prices by axing the tax and ending the inflationary deficits to bring down inflation and interest rates. We will bring home powerful paychecks with lower income taxes that reward hard work with a blue seal national professional standards so that our 20,000 brilliant immigrant doctors, 32,000 brilliant immigrant nurses, and countless other professionals can get to work in their jobs serving our patients and bringing home better paychecks. We will clear away the bureaucracy and gatekeepers so that we can develop our resources at home. Stop importing from abroad. Bring it home. Absolutely. And we will bring homes people can afford with a common sense plan that requires cities permit 15% more home building per year or lose federal funding, but gives them bonuses if they exceed that target, require every federally funded transit station be surrounded by high density apartments before the federal funds flow. We'll sell off 6,000 federal buildings and thousands of acres of federal land and convert that into housing. We'll require CMHC to approve financing for affordable apartments within two months and not two years. And if the executives do not hit that target by law, their, 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 their bonuses will be cut. And if they still won't hit the target, they will automatically be fired. We're going to bring the real world to Ottawa. And those homes will be in safe neighborhoods. After Justin Trudeau has given us the worst increase in crime in recorded history, a 100% increase in gun crime, the highest murder rate in 30 years, common sense conservatives will bring in jail and not bail for repeat violent offenders, treatment not decriminalized and subsidized hard drugs, and we will reinforce our borders to keep illegal guns and drugs out rather than harassing the law-abiding trained and tested, RCMP vetted, lawful firearms owners. We will protect the lawful people and put the real criminals in jail. Common sense. What we're talking about is restoring the common sense consensus that used to exist between liberals and conservatives for a quarter century. We all agreed that budgets should be balanced and that they don't balance themselves. We all agree in free enterprise, hard work, rewarding people who did the right thing. Those were the common sense solutions that from the early 80s until 2015 allowed Canada to be the, one of the most prosperous and safest places on planet Earth. Canadians know that this is the country that we know and love. You know, it feels like for a lot of people that we're a long way from home doesn't it? With our streets more dangerous, the cost of everything out of control, wealth concentrated in fewer and fewer hands, people feeling sidelined, left behind, hopeless. But the good news is we're going to turn that hurt into the hope that Canadians need. We're going to restore a country where hard work pays off, where it doesn't matter if your name is Martin or Mohammed. Sanger Smith, Polyev or Patel, Chang or Charles, if you're prepared to work hard, follow the law, Build your future. Support your country. You can achieve anything. That is the Canada that we know and love. And it is based on the common sense of the common people, united for our common home. Your home. My home. 
our home. Let's bring it home.